I'm glad I, I'm glad I want to premiere. <laughs> Hello, botanists. This is a, um, a bittersweet day because it's the last day of our official class. And um, I know I speak for all of us and all of us are probably going to speak. It's what a pleasure and an honor. It's been working with you even remotely. And we all wish that we could have met in person, but um, this has worked out better than well, from our standpoint, considering the great work you've done and, and all the things that we see you've learned, it's been terrific. And um, one of the th things we want to say is that, or at least I want to say, is that the study of plant biology, of field botany, um, it should be a lifelong thing. They say that the value of education is, is learning how to learn. And even though we do it academically and professionally, um, uh, we also do it as a hobby and a thing that we like to do for our own enrichment. In fact, a lot of people have noticed this, especially academic people, how it seems like the, the best naturalists are often amateurs who do it with enthusiasm and um, to enrich their lives. So those of you who are studying natural resources for a career, great. Those of you who aren't, um, there's so many ways to continue studying botany that um, I just want to mention a couple. Um, Ohio is like a great place for what's called citizen science. And there are a number of groups that study um, plants um, uh, for a, a hobby and for fun. One of them, for example, that I'm a member of is called the Ohio Moss and Lichen Association. And we go on um, moss and lichen forays, two of them every year. There's one next week, I'm all excited, is up in far Northwest County at a place called Gall Woods. And, um, that is uh, the kind of thing that there's a lot of people doing. There's also um, co uh, conservation organizations. There's one called the Ohio Natural Areas Preserves Association that I work with, that when the department funding for the uh, Ohio Department of Natural Resources got sort of reduced, um, people, including people that used to work for the department, help out the resource managers to pull garlic mustard and cut uh, um, amur honeysuckle and that sort of thing. So um, don't stop studying botany. And um, when classes start up again in the fall, and especially when this course is offered um, IRL, um, stop by 30 Jennings and meet us. And um, if you have plant questions, um, uh, you have our emails, keep sending plant questions. Personally, I love answering plant questions. And um, it's been great learning about all the stuff you found. Speaking of which, um, we have an assignment based upon that. And then you're going to tell us about the assignment based on that? Yep. Uh, so uh, as Dr. Clips mentioned, you guys have spent a lot of time already, um, you know, perusing and uh, I guess exploring your local flora. And you've spent a lot of time putting the things that you found on your websites. And we think it would be a shame if you and we were the only ones to see it. So um, we have an extra assignment for you to do, uh, whereby um, you'll be visiting the other students' pages. Uh, and we'll have like a set of questions for you to look for, or a set of things to look for on their pages. We'll give you a link. Um, and basically, we just want you to go and explore other, uh, your uh, fellow classmates' pages and answer a few uh, easy questions, basically, just so we can you know, I'll see the good work that uh, each other have, have done. Great. And um, Kelly, any uh, reports or news? Um, crying. So I can see you're crying. I'm <laughs> crying. I'm going to miss you all. This has been so much fun. Um, just to add on to what Ben was saying, um, this assignment where we go back and look at each other's web pages. Traditionally, this is something we've done in person on the last day of class, which has been really cool. Um, and we've kind of had a little party to share together all the cool plants we found and like have um, food and drink together and a fun time. So I'm, I'm sad that we can't share that in person this year, but it's it's cool that you're still going to be able to go back and see each other's work. So I hope that's fun for you all. Um, and then the, the one other thing that I could mention is that there is a botany conference coming up at the end of the summer. It's going to be virtual. 
but the, the three of us are going to present at this conference and share what we've learned from teaching botany virtually with other people, other botanists from all over the world. So um, we want to hear from you all about your feedback on how you think this, this virtual botany experience has gone so that we can learn and so that we can take what we learn and you know, tell others about it as well. So if you'll fill out your SEIs, that would be very helpful. But then we're also gonna put together a short survey of more specific questions that will help us um, turn feedback into something we can actually present since the SEIs are pretty general. So if you, if you take time to fill out the survey, we would very much appreciate that. And it would be a great way to help you know, future iterations of botany from all over. Super. Great. Well, um, thanks you guys for being such great teammates in the course. And thank you, uh, botanists, for being such great botanists. And enjoy the last, uh, the last assignment. And I'm sure, and, and enjoy the final, if that's possible, which we think it is. <laughs> Bye.